people really don't understand the role we play on the highway side. You know, for at least 20 years now, we've played a very important role on picking out which of the major freeway projects get um, moved forward, which of the street projects are the most important. We have a strong role in helping moving forward with signal synchronization and other smart highway projects. It's just this really dynamic place that looks at bringing it all together. Fundamentally, the master plan for highways and, and freeways would help the region understand how to reduce congestion. We have the 710 freeway, which is used extensively by trucks as well as cars. We have the 405, we have SR91, I605, I-5, and at the northern tier we have SR-60 and I-10, of course. All of these projects and, and freeways need some sort of improvement. Having those details and, and a master plan and a, a roadmap, so to speak, for how to actually build these improvements and get them funded. We have a problem now, but the project that we have, we wanted to address how much traffic is going to be in the year 2035, for example, and so we're trying to address the traffic issues of, you know, 20, 30 years down the line. With the strategic transportation plan, it will eliminate the overflow of traffic onto our surface streets. It would be a proud day to know that the air is cleaner, the roads are, are safer. We will have a, a much healthier and, and more stable region because of the transportation plan. 